this. Do you even think I'm pretty? Yeah, let me show you. Do you even think I'm pretty? Yeah, this is Cal. This is what California girls look like right here, and this is a low quality California girls. Okay. Black hair chicks are not picked up on much in California. Only beautiful blondes are uh, orange hair and uh, auburn red are picked up on in California. Rods like me, we're not picked up on. We're hated. We're ousted. We're um, we're disliked. They'd rather have a beautiful blonde. It's got a snotty attitude than somebody with heart that has black hair. Way it is in California. So, you know, I decided where I want to go. Mom doesn't take me in, Avril Levine. Then I'm gonna go to a different state altogether. I can rent a motel in that state, and um, hopefully. I'm going to make it last two weeks to get hired onto a job. Because I'm hired onto a job. That's all I need. Two weeks I get paid and bing, there's the money for an apartment. And to pay off my uh, debt to uh, Wright Park House Apartments. They uh, did a wrongful eviction. I'm in debt to them for 2300 bucks. This and I'm on social security. Now or never, sis. Take your pick, now or never. You also get this bracelet off of my wrist. Okay? I'm giving you this. It's an authentic Kenya, made in Kenya, bracelet. Okay, now let me explain the colors. Black is for all the black people like us. White is for the peace and independence. Uh, red is for the uh, independence. And green is for the evergreen country. Okay? What makes you think I'm bluffing about anything? Calling my movie fake? Are you fucking out your mind? You haven't even seen it and you're calling it fake. Okay. So, yeah. And I got a little bit of cleavage too. And yeah, I'm nipping. But, if you want to see the rest, you gotta come see me. Okay. And then at that, <coughs> and then at that, my, my clothes don't come off other than my trench coat. So you can see what they're targeting. These predators are targeting. Because I have a really couple really sexy tattoos on my back and the back of my neck. That as I was getting them, I was like, yeah, whatever. Doesn't hurt. Whatever. Hey, is there any way you can dig a little deeper? I'm not feeling it. As they're fucking tattooing very light hand with a needle engraved. Chair like this. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Do it harder. Okay. That was on the center of my back. On the spine. I'm saying do it harder. Do it harder. And I was getting it in. And it felt like a really nice sunburn. It felt really good. I was like. I waited for like four hours straight out of the room. Yes. I felt like somebody just took a uh. I tell you to describe the pain that I felt it was like somebody took a uh, in between the shoulder blades and lower back right there. So it like somebody took hot air and binge it for about that long. I felt that pain, that intense pain for like four hours straight and I was like, ah yes. It's like in a nice hundred degree <laughs> sauna that burns. And I'm like, yes. Not now. It's not ready to come off yet. I was going to pop my nail off right here. Pop this one. 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 And then bitch. Five nails. Two days, and I didn't bitch. Popping them off. And, uh, as you can tell, that one, that right at the fucking cuticle. Just like, um, that's all I did. 
pound. And women, we know what it's like when we pop the nail off and it's fucking right at the cuticle. Yeah, all I did was, oh, that's it. I didn't go, ah, like you guys do. I just went, ow. So that's honest God's truth. The honest God's truth. Nope. I made a little bit more noise than that. Yep. But not by much. Nope. Everybody impressed by my reading skills. Yep. Everyone wants to know how I do it. Nope. They've already picked up the technique. Yep. And I'm the first one to invent a serum deck. Everybody's doing it now as a tarot reader. Nope. Some people are doing it as a tarot reader. Couple of people doing it as a tarot reader. And motherfucker taxes on that because that is my content. Okay, taxes on that. A reader that's reading it like I read it with a true serum deck. Uh, that's going to be a fucking 400 bucks out your pocket. Because you're using my technique. You stole from me. So 400 bucks out your damn pockets. Or the last one of you that's using the fucking technique. 400 bucks out your pocket. I expect it. Or deal with posse. And posse, make sure you collect the taxes. Then out of the 400, each one of the posse members, which there will be two, that go and collect it. You guys get $100 a piece and bring me back 200 Okay, and then it's three taxes to posse. Care to make some money, Posse? Okay. They're using this in a couple readers in every state. Nope. Just Washington State. Nope. Three different states. Yep. More than five people using it. Yep. 25 people using it. And you, I'm staring the deck. Yep, more than 25 people using it. I'll see, that's uh, 25 in each state times uh, you get $100 a pop. That's $2,500 in your pocket, Posse member. Your pocket, Posse member, is five grand in my pocket. No? 2500 Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. And it's times uh, five states. So find all those readers doing it and say, uh, free taxes, pay us up. She wants, uh, she wants 500 bucks and you're going to cough it up. Possibly remember you take, uh, 200, you take 200, bring me back 100. There, it's proper taxes paid. Then you guys, uh, give me my own shop. So that way I can read these motherfuckers coming in my shop, fucking think they're going to fucking duke on a reading. Oh, that's where a puppet comes into play because I've got everything Jamaican working in my store. You ain't getting hired unless you're Jamaican. I'm a minority store. The worst of its kind. Second of its kind. There's only one shop up here in Tacoma. I will be the first shop. And we will boom with business. It is a 21 and up store. If you come into my store, you better have valid ID and you better say that you're 21. Because we serve voodoo dolls, we uh, sell voodoo dolls and shit. And you better be fucking 21 and up. Valid state ID. I will be checking the cards to make sure that they're not fake IDs issued as well by government. I see a WDNL number, four numbers, and it's 1987, 86, 93 with a B at the end of it. I'm like, no, you cannot come into the store. You are not even 18 yet. Leave. 
you get your real ID, you come on back to my store. And you more than welcome to do business at Lady Mama Mojo's Magic. Everybody now knows who the fuck I am. Oh. First, a new age world order. Now everybody knows who I am. Yep. Everybody's here for me. Everybody's gonna do what I say. Yep. Yep. That's a definite. So posse. 200 bucks times uh, 25. One posse member. Another posse member, same exact. And I'm getting a $100 kickback. And I'm paying it forward. I get blessed. Yep. By the way, blessed. Blessed. And Jennifer Banco, you two are co-owners of my store. Three of us own in the store. All females, all voodoo. All, all females, one Haitian, one Jamaican, one Santoria. Because I'm the Santoria Haitian. Jennifer, you're the Jamaican fucking Haitian. And uh, the other one is uh, Haitian Santoria. Okay, and figure out which one we are. Jennifer, we know. Go to silence churches. Uh, Sanctus your church. Which means you absolutely do not fucking talk. The other one, you too. Do not fucking talk. Lexus, uh, you're working for MDC. Care to work for a reputable store? Because you're part Jamaican too. Uh, Latino, Jamaican, uh, Haitian. Jennifer Banco, mom. I adopt you into Haitian culture. Jamaican or Santeria culture. Care to work for my shop making big fucking money as a card reader? I would love it. Then we got our five card readers at our shop. One uses crystals to do readings. I use cards. One uses a prophecy deck. The other uses a uh, bowl of water and some and some tea leaves and some tea leaves. The other one does uh, runes. And you better know how to read and write them runes. Because you need to write them a spell in runes to cast. And usually it's like the 23rd Psalm or uh, the Lord's Prayer. Come straight out of the Holy Bible. And we will be selling Holy Bibles in our food shop too. Of its kind. Yes. We're the only shop that carries everything occult and everything religious. So, uh, you got your deal, okay? You got into a reputable business, creating our card game, creating prophecy decks, constantly doing creation when we're not doing reading. Okay? This is a store. You work your ass off. Even when you ain't working, you doing something to better the store. Okay? This is a store that's open 9 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock at night. You can come see Lady Mama Mojo. Okay? And she will give you the proper shit that you need to cleanse, clear, uh, invoke demons, raise demons, lower heat demons, lesser banishing ritual, greater banishing ritual. I mean, I know it all. Okay? And the shit that I don't know, I can blink, 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 or I can say, hey, uh, 405 Airy Code, okay? That part of Salem, Massachusetts. 504 Airy Code, 405 Airy Code. Uh, yeah, we got a problem here. This is a problem, and we need resolution. What do you suggest? And uh, this is Lady Mama Mojo Magic in her store. We're asking, what do you suggest? Person needs spiritual cleansing, and uh, they came to me. I did the reading, and uh, it turns out they need more than spiritual cleansing. They need a blessing and a half. And uh, how how do I go about getting them this? And they give me the answers, and I give it to them, and then they fucking do it as as we say, and they get immensely blessed. Okay, me as Lady Mama Mojo Magic. I don't play when it comes to this sort of stuff. I am, I am very real about it. 
this is calling me a fake. You don't know, what, come see the movie and you'll see what I'm talking about.